welcome back to clean fill one to today well my goal here is to make the sliding lid boxes that roy underhill makes for his aunt edith but to do that i kind of need a donkey's ear or a miter planing jig i can plane 45 degree angles on wide boards but on smaller pieces it's going to be a bit more difficult i'll be honest with you i don't know necessarily how i'm going to pull this off yet but we'll figure it out. I think I'll be trying to use this 45 degree angle here. I'm gonna make sure it's true again. And then uh, 45 degree angle here, I'll have two pieces to be the two end pieces. This giant piece down here has been drying. It's laminated, but it's been drying for more than a year and a half. So I know this is stable. Um, it's probably not going to cup or do anything goofy. Let me just do this. This is a test. That's there. And if I were to drop that there, that would go right there. And it would hit the top. Okay. Four and a half. This is what I have. I know it'll work with a four and a half. What I was testing there is I struck a 45 degree angle on here and I wanted to make sure that the bed of the plane, the, the sole of it, actually extends past that. Close enough, 45 degrees right there. Takes no time. That goes like that. Boom, my math is on the ball today. This is not the best idea in the world. This is a cross grain issue, but I'm not. It's a jig that will probably not last too long before I make a better one, so I'm not super worried about it. Right. Ta da! Let's see, is this full?
Okay, so there's that side. 10 inches between this and this, so I can get a 10 inch board in here, which is nine and a half inches. Um, I'm just putting in one screw on this up in the front. That way we can make this square with this, well, make it square with this groove first before we uh, put down these other ones. But this is, this is my fulcrum, my pivot point. This is a M6 bolt and it's a bit long, yes, but it's going to be what helps us adjust this. Isn't hypercritical. Okay? Do you want? Dimensioned at a factory. This edge is square, thickness is consistent. I don't really care about this side so much, but I planed it all the way down from whatever it had and it got to the bottom. It is a 1 16th is perfectly even all the way across there. Um, so I know that this is this is where this needs to be. There could be a little bit of a hump right here on the stretcher, which might throw it off a little bit in the center. I need to get some wider boards to test that. I hate planing MDF. Basically, if that last 16th is even all the way across, then I know that this is set up right. Or set up as right as I need it to be. That's an eighth of an inch. Let's just measure that here. The thickness of that, anyways, what's left is even all the way across. So that means that this is square as to 45 degrees. So it's I'm not seeing light come through. I think that's a win because I can't imagine I'm me personally is going to be mitering any kind of casement that is this wide. This is probably the widest I would ever do. I'm going to try this, make sure I, I actually use it and am happy with it. And then I'll switch over and I'll probably still make a donkey's ear. Please subscribe, like, and comment so you don't miss it when I actually make actual sliding boxes from this or whatever else I end up making. I'm happy with this. I should, I should have made this a long, long time ago.